Dear colleagues, this is a very hard cataract, Cataracta nigra. You can see that the cataract looks black. So it is a hard cataract with grade 6 nuclear sclerosis. I have taken up this case for surgery and let us see how the surgery goes. The main incision has been placed at a selected site. It's a posterior limbal incision. There's a thick arca senilis in this case. This is a side port incision on the left side of the main incision. I want to stain the anterior capsule of the cataract for doing a good capsulorexis. I want to do a very large rexis in hard cataracts, about 6 mm in size, 5.75 to 6 mm in size. The dye is washed out immediately 5-6 seconds after its injection. Now viscoelastic substance is injected into the anterior chamber. This is HPMC, hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. Here it is. The viscoelastic substance fills out the anterior chamber. Now another side port is made on the right side of the main incision. Here it is. This is about two and a half clock hours away from the main incision. And now the anti-capsule is incised with a 26 case bent cystitum. A nice easy to hold flap is raised. Now I hold this flap with the uterida forceps. The uterida forceps rests against the anterior leaf of the main incision. It presses against the anterior leaf of the main incision and leakage of viscoelastic substance becomes very minimal. And I have started the rexis and I am making it as large as possible. I am almost through. Yes, that has been a very satisfactory Rexis, large and round. And now, I want to debulk this hard nucleus. I want to debulk it and make it weak. Hydrodissection is done before that. I cannot see the fluid wave going from one side to the other side. So I have to be very cautious. I gently tap on the anterior pole on the anterior surface of the cataract and I try to rotate it and it rotates freely. Viscoelastic substance is again injected. Now in this case I am going to use Oatly Cataract 3 FACO machine. The power being used is 90%. I am in FACO on mode. Flow rate is 30 and vacuum is 100 vacuum is 100 flow rate is 30 ml per minute and power is 90 percent and bevel is down i want to make a deep crater and when i am in bevel down position with each application of energy i can sculpt a lot of lens matter if the bevel is off, I cannot sculpt out that much of lens matter. So it is cutting very nicely, though it is very hard. It's cutting nicely because I have increased the power to 90%. Now I turn the FACO tip and make its bevel up. Now the bevel is facing the corneal endothelium. Now I sculpt some more and now I am almost near the posterior plate. Now I go to FACO 2 mode, FACO power again 90%. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. And I have been able to 
each of this nucleus. I rotate it 180 degree, go to the other side and I try to separate the nucleus into two halves and here it is, it separates and the job is done. Once this hard nucleus divides into two halves, you are almost through. Now I have been able to chop one hemineucleus into two parts. Now each part is being emulsified and taken out. This is a very powerful machine, very sturdy, very small and sturdy machine. And Oatley Catrix 3 has pneumatic cutter. The air compressor system inside it. You don't need a gas cylinder. In case posterior capsular rent occurs, you can very well manage the posterior capsular rent with the vitrectomy system that it has inbuilt. Now this is the other heminucleus. I am elevating this and I am starting in this case I am trying to separate one part with the other part and it has become possible. Dear colleagues, we need to be patient, we need, we cannot hurry up in such cases and we have to protect the intraocular cells very nicely. In this case I have started emulsifying from the apical side of this fragment because the apex is sharp and if it goes down towards the posterior capsule it presses at a point. That's it. The last bit of this hard nucleus is taken out and I have been able to conquer this cataract and nigra and I am very happy. Now viscoelastic substance is injected. Now we can see some red glow. Viscoelastic substance is injected and this little bit of cortical matter which is there, there is no epinucleus. The epinucleus has been incorporated into the nucleus. This cortical lens matter is aspirated very easily with this Simcoe cannula. And in such hard cataracts, the posterior capsule is usually clean. There are no cells sticking to the posterior capsule. So, I just have to implant an intraocular lens now. The bag, the antechamber is filled up with viscoelastic substance, HPMC again. And this is the intraocular lens. This is a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens. The leading haptic goes into the capsular bag. The chopper supports the optic. The trailing haptic also goes into the bag with a tap of the chopper. Now I take a Sensky hook and rotate this lens so that I can go behind the lens and clean the viscoelastic substance which is there in the capsular bag. Here it is. First I irrigate out the viscoelastic substance from the anterior chamber. This is BSS. And now, after some time, I go behind the intraocular lens Here it is. I go behind the intraocular lens and I irrigate the capsular bag, the space behind the intraocular lens. Now I use bimanual IA to clean out 
the viscoelastic substance finally and that's it the case is over the hydro the side ports are nicely hydrated with bss dear colleagues if you do just one case one hard cataract with this technique you will be so confident that you will not try to do some other procedure in hard cataracts. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. See the wound, the main wound. There is no wound burn. It's looking so nice. Thank you.